All right, here we go. Starting off game one on PS2, as we're going to see So Good Pop take on Ned, uh, trying to find their way into Losers Finals. But Ned, I'm sure, wants that run back on Sharp real bad. Uh, ended up in a bit of a heartbreaker at a 3 1. Let's see if he can make it happen. Oh. Ned has been doing a very good job, building up a lot of damage with the Squirtle tonight. I uh, had a little bit of a struggle at the end of that set with MFA, but looks like that Squirtle is back to play. Uh, but and our, and we've really seen Soga Pop doing a really good job using this volleyball and among other things, just building up this damage. And now Ned in a really dangerous spot. Wow, good air dodge though. Gonna be able to find his way back to the stage. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing about like dealing with Wii Fit Trainer is, oh God, Ned, let it rip. Let it rip. Don't let this man touch the stage. <laughs> That, that's why you like Obviously in this matchup, purely because of uh, being able to just shut down Wii Fit Trainer's recovery. Um, they always, for the most part, they just have to keep going low. So if you're good at down air with Ivysaur, it's really easy to hit. Yeah, Squirtle nice. is, oh my goodness, Flare Boots just easy, 31%. But, I've, uh, never seen, I've never seen Flare Boots clank with Sar with uh. I believe it's a yoga ball, but like it's still really good to just go for. Even if at worst the thing will clank. I think that's the one thing about Wii Fit Trainer is like you have to worry about Wii Fit's dual hitboxes, but also the fact that like Wii Fit Trainer's yoga ball is a really good item that they can actually put into play because of the angles that they can hit it at, and also mm -hmm. the hitbox extensions and it's ridiculous. Yeah, good dash attack right there though. Going to be able to take out Squirtle on that first stock. But so good pop sitting at about 61%. Ned is definitely looking for a way to take advantage of the situation to push this lead that they've built up. Yeah, also, man, like, Ned didn't even care about the deep breathing buff from Wii Fit. He just kept rushing so good pop down. <laughs> and it just worked out in his favor as well. Oh, oh it's the oh, vine whip wow. to connect. Now he's deep off stage. Okay. And, and that's gonna, like. Oh, good down there. I was going to say, that's going to be up to Ned to see how he can edge guard so good pop every now and then, just because, like, in situ <laughs> there's situations where he wants him to go for that low recovery, so he can do that, what he did with Ivysaur earlier. Yep. Good couple of soccer balls from so good pop. Going to put a little bit of pressure on the Ned, trying to get out of that corner of the stage, and he was able to find a roll in. Now he's got Ned on the defensive, but he's got to be careful. 124 Charizard on the stage. He'll kill you in a few ways. I'm looking at the chat and they're asking, is that John Numbers? I don't even know if John Numbers goes by another alias, but if he does, so and <laughs> it's not John Numbers. That'd be crazy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. Numbers. I guarantee you guys it's not. So good pop is definitely their own person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like the little nod to John Numbers with, with J letters. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't read his tag until now. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Nice little rebound on the soccer ball. Not gonna be able to make anything happen, but still, just forcing uh, Ned to kind of use that flare blitz to go across the stage. I mean, it's definitely good to kind of put that idea into your opponent's head that say, "Hey, man, I know how to how to juggle these soccer balls around. You got to be careful because if you're not paying attention, I'm gonna make you pay for it." Yeah. And then, like I said, right, hair box extensions plus the fact that they don't even have to hit the ball initially; they can just leave it there and use it as a trap tool. Oh, good on the oh base, my. but no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful down tilt. Gonna be able to take out that second stock. We're gonna see if Ned can find a way to continue to put this pressure. Not letting So Good Pop back on the stage. And here we go. Squirtle is doing his thing, building up that damage. Great switch. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Good up here. Uh oh. Oh, nice. great soccer ball. Okay. Nice kind of waiting stalling the landing, the deep, yeah. Yeah, and waiting out the deep breathing as well. Uh -oh. Still, though. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, it. Good oh. mash, good mash. Yeah. Beautiful match. Actually, you're gonna get that forward tilt for send so good pop off stage. This is their chance to make their stand and close this game out because you gotta be careful. So good pop does have deep breathing active. It is online and just about Ooh. any tilt doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The sweet spot back air from Ned gonna be able to allow him to close out that game one. That was kind of scary. I don't know about yeah. you guys. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. pretty deep scary. Deep breathing we fit is always scary. And the character it's basically just... becomes like limit cloud. Kinda, yeah. 
hits like Bowser, moves like Cloud. <laughs> yeah. I think in that situation, it was good on Ned to pay attention to the fact that, like, so good Pop wanted to slowly approach in with either a projectile or the ball and have that in play and make the play with that by letting go of shield and having this kind of, like, small approach by pushing him towards the ledge. What he didn't see coming is the fact that Ned already caught wind of that and said, you know what, my back air has a tipper and, and is so good out of the range that if you mess up that one approach, I will punish you for it, especially across the stage. Here we go. Okay, looks like we're gonna be running it right back to PS2. I don't think this is a bad choice. Both players were playing pretty well here. Uh, just ended up being Ned, who's gonna be able to close it out. <laughs> just a whole salutation for an opening 25%. Okay. <laughs> Scary thing about that. <laughs> about Wii Fit Trainer. It's just the buffs of the character, but also the projectiles. And the fact that they have a pretty, I wouldn't say the best recovery, but a solid recovery. Oh, nice play here. And for oh, extra you're crazy. damage. Dude, you're crazy. I'm yeah, amazed man. I didn't kill because he was literally in the blast zone when he got hit yep. by that. But the fact that he went for that is uh, that's nuts. <laughs> I didn't even ever think that we could do that, something like that. Yeah, he did so get the sweet pop. spot on up smash either, so he's alive. But yeah, so good pop is definitely looking like a much different uh, player right now. Uh, this is a very hot start. The forward air not going to be enough to close it out. Oh, okay, no, the movement right there though. Okay. The option both these players are to dash attack and I'm gonna go through. He just stood there and stared at him menacingly. Oh, good down there. No, Ooh. missed the confirm though. Good play. Nice. And that's why we kind of see him go for flare boots, right? At worst, it's gonna clank, but you can still make that recovery. Oh my gosh, the ball is still active. That was hey, we'll take it. <laughs> yep, gonna be able to find that forward till at the end. Right. Yeah, so far so good pop looking much better here. Uh, was looking still pretty good in game one, but this opening that they've had, some of these options they're going for, the pressure they're putting down is Ooh. on Ooh. point, but it doesn't matter as what? Ned's going to find us. I didn't even know you could do that. I've never seen a <laughs> man, but... Ned, Ned's a different beast. He's built different. I guess the only thing, maybe if you DI'd in on the ledge jump, you wouldn't get hit by that. But I feel like that one actually been... looked true. Yeah, that looks, that looked true. That looked true. <laughs> All right. In case you guys didn't know, Ned's pretty good with Pokemon Trainer. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's something like one of the best in the world or something like that. <laughs> top 50. Still doing the big here on Wi Fi in a world where some of the top players have just decided not even to play the game anymore. Shout out to Light though. I know he, I know he doesn't really want to play Wi-Fi. I miss Light so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. Uh, right now we're gonna have to deal with Ned. Uh, <laughs> so Ned's gonna give us that uh, offline uh, to online representation for the moment. Yeah, good stuff on the water gun too. He even pushed back the ball. Oh, nice tech chase situation. The forward smash, great play. Ooh. Oh, man. What's the fun man with that down tilt? Just knowing, you know what? Let me put him in a tech chase situation. Let's see how he actually reacts when he can't even have time to whip out the ball when he needs it the most. And you can even see Nad kind of found the counterplay here. If he's gonna go with, if he's gonna go with the yoga ball, I might as well take a water gun because I can push it away and then get out of my face if I need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Ned's done a very good job adapting to the game, uh, or adapting to uh, So Good Pop's game plan in game two here, because he started off super hot, and now all of a sudden Ned is very solidly in control, using that water gun like you've mentioned a couple times to really get that soccer ball out of the way, and uh, So Good Pop is definitely struggling here. Yeah, even even the fire and the flamethrower, you kind of see it too. He's not afraid to test the waters and see what moves can get the soccer ball and then push more advantage. Especially when it comes to the pressure here. I like that. Looking for the whiff punish on the landing here. Doesn't find it. Great forward air reaction. Just knowing, hey, man, he's going to try to cross me up and come up with something. Nice grab. Good flamethrower. It's a bit, uh, good bit of damage on there. So good pop. Going to inch back to that forward air. Trying to get that stock out of the way. Finds it down air. Man, even with the trade, still able to get that down air to work. <laughs> but oh my goodness. I think I the ball actually the killed him. Yeah, yeah he was, actually yeah, died yeah. through the. Uh, Volleyball, soccer ball, I don't, I don't know. I call, it, ball. 
I call it the yoga. I think it's a medicine ball, yoga ball, soccer ball. Hey, man, they're all balls. Either way, good stuff on the vine whip for the last hit with the hitbox extension. Come on, man. Finally yeah, putting I mean, that as a, in play. I don't know if I would say it's a medicine ball because you see the way that we fit trainers slamming that thing around. That's terrifying if that's a medicine ball. <laughs> Have you seen how this character buffs himself with deep breath? <laughs> <laughs> I guess wouldn't be surprised. Point. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Ned just showing that they are a player of consistency because not only are they the 37th best player according to PGR offline, but for the Wi Fi Warrior ranking, number 32, uh, maintaining a very, very dominant presence in both worlds as we see uh, Ned move on to 2 up. Yep, 2-0. One game away from their rematch with Sharp. They want that set so bad. Yeah, and you said it best, Skiff. Like, he's taking the offline presence and strength, and he's applying that to the online. When a lot of players have just opted to just not even feel validated with their wins, because it's really hard. You know, offline and online are two different breeds, but Ned is not afraid to be out there and still push the meta with his character. Like you said, man, he's built different. He is, man. And we're going to be getting in, right into our game three. Are we seeing the stage change? We are to Final Destination. We'll have to see how this will really benefit So Good Pop's game plan here. I mean, I didn't feel like the platforms on PS2 really, you know, changed that much, so. Yeah, I mean, I would assume that So Good Pop just wants more space to really set up his projectiles. But uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Ned just hasn't really struggled with dealing with them that much. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, Soga Pop has definitely found some really good openings using those projectiles, but like you said, I don't think Ned has struggled too much. Uh, that game, too, where Soga Pop started off with that really hot start and looked like they were really going to take that game to a long run, you know, to probably take the victory, uh, Ned just, like, hit the brakes and just said, all right, this is my game now, you're playing my tempo, and totally forced game two in his favor. Okay, gotta be careful here. Yeah, the deep breathing makes a lot of what we it wants to go for really dangerous and kill super early. So now let's see what uh, Soga Pop can do since he has a little bit of a lead here. Oh, you can tell Ned ball. is just trying to keen to make sure this guy only touches the ledge. Soga Pop finally breaks through, gets the berry, but nice. He's not, not gonna be true at early percents. All right, good soccer ball there. Gonna just disrupt Ned a little bit. Ned looking for that down smash. I can be able to get it. Great ledge trumps though. Just not being able to get anything off of him quite yet. Yeah. Might have been able to get that ledge trump down there to work again if he was an Ivy Sword. Oh, good on the wow, flamethrower, but. <sighs> oh, he was caught in the situation. breathing yeah. is disgusting man he was greedy though you could see ned was greedy he wanted that grab to the fourth throw but it cost ned a lead well he actually he gave pretty much so good pop a lead and it cost led ned the stock so mm -hmm. yeah no uh so good pop definitely has a full fresh stock lead at the moment here it's not like ned can't make this comeback oh jesus keeping that soccer ball alive with the down air yeah he's playing oh, wow. volleyball with this man i didn't know how long he can keep that move active yeah, looking like the worm Dennis Rodman with these rebounds, just constantly <laughs> keeping that ball in play. Yo, man, but, uh... oh. oh, that was a very good read. Just not gonna be able to get that forward air out. Yeah, I got a little scared when he was off stage or his Ivy Sword, but man, jump gets snagged by the Charizard back here. Oh my goodness! Of course, Let's immediately go for the down air. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what Ned's uh, game plan is here with Ivysaur for this long. Hey, oh my I goodness. Mean, oh. I would say Ivysaur's look. got a... Go yeah, go on, go on, go on. I want to hear it. Okay, so I mean, Ivysaur's got a lot of good game plans just to kind of be like real disruptive and just a real pain in the ass, honestly. So like yeah. uh, the long distance game plan with Ivysaur oh, is my. definitely capable. Bro. As we see Ned just that absolutely turn it stream was insane, he's dead. Oh he my said, god. He said, please. All right, that was his plan with Ivysaur. That was it. <laughs> I was going to say, man, Skiff was already on the money with it. He read the textbook last week. He said the homework was due tonight, and he said that's why Ned is Ivysaur. Jesus. Hey, Dude, man. That was uh, sick. 
I want to give big shout outs to Mastro, number two in North Dakota, PT main. I, I've been able to do a lot of commentary for them, so I have to learn. I have to learn PT to a certain point. So, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm going to give a big shout out to them because that's the only reason why I kind of felt like what was going on.